Let's discuss changes in matter. Okay, you were supposed to read through this and answer questions um, one through seven. So, number one, it says define physical change and chemical change and give examples of each type of change. So, we'll define both of these. A physical change. Changes the physical properties of a substance. An example of that would be melting. Um, maybe melting ice or breaking breaking a pencil um, would be a physical change because it's still a pencil. Um, the ice when you melt it is still water. A chemical change changes. the substance to a new substance. Examples of this would be this would work for some substances. Heating something or reacting something. So if you heat, and we're going to get to this a little bit later, if you heat an egg, um, you're changing the proteins in the egg and making it something new. Number two, explain why changes of state are physical changes. Melting or boiling a substance Does it change the chemical composition? So when you melt ice, it becomes water, it's still H2O. When you boil water to become steam, it's still H2O. Number three, describe how you would separate the components of a mixture of sugar and sand. Will your methods result in physical or chemical changes? So the easiest way to separate sugar and sand would be to dissolve the sugar in water. Filter the sand and evaporate the water. <clears throat> then it says, would your methods result in physical or chemical changes? So I'm going to put a comma here at the end. They would result in physical changes. We're not changing the chemical composition of the sugar um, or the sand. We're just dissolving the sugar in water. So it's still sugar. It's still sand. Number four, explain why physical changes can easily be reversed, but why chemical changes cannot. So I'm going to start with chemical. Chemical changes result in a new substance being formed. So you go through a chemical reaction and a new substance is formed. Um, when you do a physical change, it's still the same substance. So I'll put a period here. Physical changes do not 
change the chemical makeup of a substance. Number five, identify two ways to break down a compound into a simpler substance. Um, we'll, we'll get into greater detail with this second semester. But um, one simple way to, to break things down, like baking soda, is just to heat it. If you're going to take something like water and break it down, um, you can run electricity through it. So I'm going to say heat and... Heat and electrolysis. That would be running electricity through something. Um, there's more ways than that, but those are those are two ways that you can do that. Number six, list three clues that indicate chemical change. So heat produced or any type of energy being produced, heat, light, sound. That's evidence of a chemical change. Um, gas produced. So maybe we have fizzing or bubbling taking place. And the third clue would be a color change. And then on number seven, it says classify each of the following as a chemical change or a physical change. So I'm just going to put a P or a C out beside these. So 7A, sugar being added to lemonade, it's still sugar, so that's a physical change. Um, plants using carbon dioxide and water to form oxygen and sugar, that's a chemical change. New substances are formed. Water boiling, that's physical. And egg frying, that's chemical. Rust forming on metal, it's a new substance, so it's chemical. Fruit rotting, it's a new substance, so it's chemical. Salt being removed from water by evaporation, that's going to be physical. So those are all the answers to changes in matter.